Welcome to my home. My name is Ines Gijon. Um, I am the Bilingual Education Coordinator at the Cradle of Aviation Museum. And today we're going to actually prepare some Colombian arepas. Um, part of it is um, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, specifically this week, we've been highlighting George Samank. He is half Colombian, half Polish. He did grow up and spend some time in Colombia and Medellin. And growing up, one of the things that he enjoyed eating and was arepas um, with cheese. And in Colombia, we tend to, not we, but I have family that are from Colombia. Um, they tend to eat arepas during the morning for breakfast. So today we're gonna make some arepas. Uh, you're gonna need some masa arepa. It's already, the dough is already, um, the flour is already pre-cooked. So when you buy in the supermarket, you can easily get it. Um, also, I have a cup of warm water and my cheese. I have right here my cup of the flour which is a cornmeal flour that we're gonna use. And also you'll need a pinch of salt um, to add to this. So we are gonna begin our recipe. The first thing you wanna do is obviously have your one cup of the cornmeal flour, masarepa, and then you wanna pour slowly the warm water into the flour. Once you have that, you want to, you can use your hands or um, you can use a fork or a spoon just to mix the water with the flour. So once you pour the water, you want to, like I said, you can use a fork or a spoon to mix it, but I tend to use my hands. You want to make sure that you form the dough properly. Um, so you might want to, don't pour all the water in at once. I will pour it slowly until I get the right consistency of the dough. Um, you want to make sure it's not um, watery, the dough, or too hard. Right now, I'm gonna pour a little bit more of water just to get the right consistency, which I don't need too much. I'm very close at this point for my dough. Oh, by the way, I've already added the salt, the pinch of salt. I'm sorry I didn't um, put it, but I added the pinch of salt already to, to the dough. Um, right now, it looks like my dough is ready. So, we are gonna take, now that my dough is not sticking to the surface of my container, you're gonna take a handful of dough and you're gonna do it like a little patty. But on the center with your thumb, you wanna make it like a little cup, if you can see, like a little cup. And the reason I say that is because you wanna put the indentation, because what I'm gonna do right now is take some cheese, and I'm gonna add the cheese to the center of my patty, and then I'm gonna close it out, close it out. So it can be like a patty. So I need a little bit more dough just to cover it. That's okay if you, if you think that you did a little bit. And now you have your patty done, your arepa patty. And now we are ready to make it. So you're gonna continue doing that with the remainder of the dough. Um, and about a cup of, um, a cup of masarepa with water, you should get about, I would say, between four to six arepas um, that you can make this recipe. The next step, actually, after you're done with your patties and making your patties, 
um, you will need a frying pan and butter. So I am going to show you how we fry our arepas. And then once we're done with that process, we are ready to start having our breakfast. So now I have my frying pan, I have my butter. The first thing you want to do is grab some butter, not too much butter, because what you're going to do is you're going to turn on your stove and make sure it's halfway the flame. And what you're going to do with the stove is basically coat it with butter. So you want to make sure the butter is uh, melted. It's just coating the surface of the, of, the, of the pan. And then what you can do is take your arepa and just place it um this process of cooking basically you want to make sure it's golden brown you know like a golden color on each side before you flip them it would take approximately i would say about five minutes to do the whole recipe takes about 15 minutes to prepare it's a very simple quick breakfast that you can do home so I just turned my arepas around, my patties, cornmeal patties. Um, one thing I do tend to put is a little bit of butter on top of the side that I haven't turned the butter. So when I turn it around, it has some butter and um, that would allow it to get that crispy um, golden color that you want for it. Um, one of the things, because this is pre-cooked, the flour it really does not require for it to be on the frying pan too much what you want it is mostly that the mozzarella cheese or it um the frying cheese um to be actually cooked um and it could be nice and soft inside so when you eat it um so right now i'm just waiting for it to get that nice golden color um ready for us to serve i do have my plate here um i am ready to have some breakfast and actually it is ready and as you can see it gives you that nice golden color and that is what you're looking for and you are ready to have your arepa enjoy i hope you enjoyed this wonderful short video of how to make some colombian arepas enjoy your day enjoy if this is the evening enjoy some arepas um as a night late night snack or as your breakfast bye